Hello, so here we see a typical IV characteristics of a PN junction diode. When I say IV characteristics, I stands for current and V stands for voltage. So there are two types of semiconductor diodes. One is germanium and one is silicon. So the red curve shows the IV curve for the silicon diode and the blue curve shows the IV curve for the germanium diode. So as you can see, U is the voltage right over here and I is the current. I takes the Y axis and U takes the X axis. So when you forward bias a PN junction diode, it means you apply positive terminal to the P type material and a negative terminal to the N type of material, the diode gets forward bias. In picture, you can show this in this way. This is your P material, this is your N material and you apply a positive voltage in this fashion so that your positive is connected to the P and negative is connected to the N. So diode is forward bias and with the increment in the positive voltage right here in the x-axis so we focus on the red curve when the voltage is about 0.5 volt which is called as cutting voltage of a diode or threshold voltage of a diode it is the voltage at which the diode gets forward bias it acts as a short circuit and the current starts flowing from p to n and the circuit gets closed and complete so after until you reach the 0.5 volt in the red curve on the x-axis the current in the diode is very very small as you can see in the picture but after 0.5 volt there is a sudden increase in the current as you can see the red curve is going up similarly this same story applies for the germanium case so germanium cutting voltage is about 0.2 volt so the current after this voltage starts to increase as shown over here now this is the forward characteristics this region indicates the forward behavior of a diode what about the reverse bias characteristics of a diode reverse bias means again you have a pn junction this is your p this is your N material and you have negative connected to the P and positive terminal of a battery to the connected to the N type of material. So in this case you see that for the red curve you keep on increasing the voltage and the current through the diode is very very small. You see that the current is negligible up to this point because the junction is reverse bias and diode acts as an open switch there is no way the current can conduct and complete the circuit but if you keep on increasing the voltage then there is a sudden breakdown and the heavy current starts flowing through the diode in this case diode experiences the breakdown similarly the case for the germanium